right? So today's Erev Tisha B'Av. And in the Sefer Makar Chaim, which is one of my favorites for him now, I picked it up uh, not too long ago, and uh, I'm an anical from from the Chavos Yor, who is the author of Makar Chaim, is a Sefer that wasn't published until uh, about 30, 35 years ago or so. It just it had remained a manuscript. It's such a tremendous, wonderful, incredible Sefer. Um, it really, it, to me, when you learn all this form of the Chavos Yor, you find something that, you know, a lot of things that we would call uh, like Hasidish and Hagim. Excuse me. <coughs> or, <coughs> or really, you know, Kadmonish and Hagim. They really go back, certainly before the Baal Shem Kaddish, and the way that, you know, Jews lived in Germany 500 years ago was really more like. If, if you want to compare, you know, the, the lifestyles and the culture that exists in different Jewish communities, Orthodox Jewish communities today, uh, there's a lot, you know, I, I would say there's more in common, let's say, with um, Hungarian, like Sapmer, uh, and other, and maybe the more Ashkenazian that you you know, like uh, or Nitra and these um, that are Satmar Gestimmt uh, communities that are like seen as, as like Hasidic communities there's more in common there than with the typical Ashkenaz community although you know the classical Yekins still you know have certain Minhagim like saying Yitzris and things like that, uh, which are the classical Mithoge Ashkenaz. <clears throat> but anyway, uh, for the most part, a lot of these things, they're very, what we would consider, I don't mean like Chabad, but I mean like the more Ashkenaz type Hasidim, like, like like the Hungarian and maybe the Galician uh, communities, they're very much. Uh, that's that's how the, the Ashkenaz communities conducted themselves uh, in many ways in those days. You know, before the Baal Shem Tov Kodesh. So, so in a certain sense, you know, it's not that the Hasidim brought something new. There's a lot, a lot of things that you see. Hagi Vermiza and the Makor Chaim, uh, people would think uh, like Hasidish when they're really classical, classical Ashkenaz that have been lost, and it's really only the Hasidim that have kept a lot of these uh, You know, things like, uh, you know, not eating fleshigs uh, or eating milchigs, uh, rather, on Sunday night and Wednesday night. Uh, it's brought in, in, in these forums, you know, to have such a minuk. And I, I don't even keep that, to be honest. But I know, like, you go to Satmar, that's what you see. You know, they're, they're, a lot of the real Hamish of Satmar really keep that very seriously. Uh, maybe I should too. Uh, but anyway... I was mentioning today's Erev Tisha B'Av. Uh, so, in Makar Chaim, let's try, can we keep this, can we fix this? It's when I make the turn, there's a lot of turns on this road. Or bumps and things like that, let's try to fix it. So, you know, or you know what, I, I can make a separate video for this already, showing because I said too much that wasn't Shaykh. Alright, thank you for watching. God bless. Please like and subscribe. We'll talk to you later.